Good morning. We begin as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. It's my pleasure. I'm Father William Dine, and it's my pleasure to celebrate with all those through the TV Mass who celebrate at home with us the Feast of Corpus Christi. We gather around the altar of our Lord. We gather recognizing our sinfulness and preparing ourselves to enter into these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord, your God, has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with the seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock, and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. O Sion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Jerusalem. He established peace on your borders. He gives you your fill of finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth, 
and swiftly runs his command. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He reveals his word to Jacob, to Israel his decrees and judgments. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his judgments. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound, a victim willing. Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling, manna to the fathers sent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesu, of your love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us. Your eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your saints, thou lowest, where the heavenly feast you show, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread 
will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we come on this great solemnity of Corpus Christi, of the body and the blood of Christ, the center of what we do every Sunday, the center of our faith, the center of what we do around this altar every time we come to celebrate. As we enter into this mystery of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, we recognize that we may at times in our lives be like the Jews who quarrel, who wonder, who are curious, who struggle to understand the truth of the mystery of the body and blood of Christ. That we quarrel among ourselves saying, how is it that he can give us his body and blood? How is it that he can give it to us? And yet we know around the Eucharistic altar that we are given the body and blood of Christ. Jesus asks of us an act of faith, that we might believe in what we fail to see, what our senses fail to pick up, that what our senses fail to distinguish our faith might make up for us so that we might recognize and accept the life-giving gift of God himself and the gift of the Eucharist. In the adoration song, Tantum Ergo, we hear these words. In the first verse, down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred host we hail. Lo, over ancient forms departing, now newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. We come here on this feast of Corpus Christi. Our senses may fail to recognize the body and blood of Jesus Christ that is offered on this altar. But may our faith make up for what our senses fail to have. May our faith in Jesus Christ, who promised that this is his body, this is his blood, may that faith and that belief carry us through. The people of the Old Testament were, tempt were tested and they were given the bread from heaven, the manna that sustained them through the desert to life in the promised land. We are also given that gift to sustain us, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord and Savior, that we might be sustained through this desert land to the great gift of heaven. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only sovereign Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for us men and for our salvation, salvation we came, came down, down from heaven, heaven. and by the Holy Spirit was returned to the Virgin Mary and, and became man. For our, our sake he was crucified on the cross of Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and, the and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess on the baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants all to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray to him with all of our hearts. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord guide it and protect it, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For all the peoples of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters in need, especially those yet unborn, that the Lord assist them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, in the offerings that we present through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the last supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come, the saving memorial of the cross. He offered himself as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to heavenly realities, here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and of earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end acclaim. Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace Christ be with you. I'm a God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. 
Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share of your divine life which is foreshadowed by the present age and of our reception of your precious body and blood who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Again, with gratitude, I am happy that you were able to join us in this TV Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace. Thanks be to God. O make of all disciples, we hear the call, O Lord, that comes from you. Thank you for tuning in the Sunday Mass. Thank you for being with us as we celebrate the Mass each week, especially for the sick and the homebound. We ask you that if it is within your power to contribute to financially to these Masses, that you do so, and we would certainly appreciate it. Be assured of our thoughts and our prayers for you and your families. God be with you.